Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. 
walking piles of sand? Nazis made of bees? Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point. They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk?
Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. before they end up in driver's head videos. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? State University, the old alma mater, and holder of my student loans. 